Fifth disease, also known as erythema infectiosum, is caused by parvovirus B19, a mild rash illness that primarily affects school-aged children. Epidemiological data indicate that approximately 50% of adults in the United States have been previously infected with this virus. The majority of individuals contract the infection between 5 and 14 years of age. Symptoms The disease progression typically involves three stages. The initial incubation period lasts 7 to 14 days during which the child can unknowingly transmit the virus through respiratory secretions. Mild symptoms such as fever, headache, cold-like symptoms, fatigue, and mild muscle or joint pain and swelling, which are more common in older children and women, may be present during this stage. The second stage, occurring two to three weeks after exposure, is characterized by the development of a bright red, slapped cheek, rash on the face. This rash typically fades after 5 to 10 days, and the child is no longer contagious during this period. The third stage may last 1 to 3 weeks and is marked by the appearance of a blotchy, lace-like rash that spreads to the chest, arms, and thighs. This rash may be itchy, but is generally painless. It is important to note that the rash may reappear for several weeks, often triggered by factors such as sunlight, exercise, temperature extremes, or stress. Transmission Fifth disease spreads through respiratory droplets generated by coughing or sneezing, as well as through contact with infected secretions. The individual with fifth disease is most contagious before the characteristic rash appears. Diagnosis Diagnosis of fifth disease is typically based on the distinctive rash appearance. In some cases, particularly for pregnant women who have been exposed to the virus, a blood test to detect antibodies can be used to determine current or past infection. Treatment There is no specific treatment for fifth disease. Most children recover without the need for any intervention. Symptomatic relief can be provided through the use of acetaminophen or ibuprofen for fever or joint discomfort. It is important to note that aspirin and aspirin-containing products should be avoided. Complications Pregnant women and individuals with immunodeficiency or chronic red blood cell disorders, such as sickle cell anemia, are at a higher risk of complications from fifth disease. Parvovirus infection during pregnancy can lead to miscarriages, severe fetal anemia, prematurity, or stillbirth, with the risk being higher during the first half of pregnancy. Patients with immunodeficiency or chronic red blood cell disorders may develop severe anemia if infected. Prevention. Currently, there is no vaccine available to prevent fifth disease. Preventive measures include frequent hand washing, covering the mouth and nose when coughing or sneezing, and avoiding touching the face. Pregnant women should avoid contact with children who have fifth disease and consult a healthcare provider immediately if exposure occurs. Return to school or daycare. Exclusion from school or daycare is not recommended for children with fifth disease. They can return once the rash has disappeared, and they are a febrile. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.